If you create a shape without a specific size, it will automatically expand to occupy all available space. For example, we could create a circle that fills our view, giving it a 40 point blue border. Circle, dot stroke, color dot blue, line width 40. Take a close look at the left and right edges of the border. Notice how they're cut off. What you're seeing here is a side effect of the way SwiftUI draws borders around shapes. If you handed someone a pencil outline of a circle and asked them to draw over that circle with a thick pen, they would trace the exact line of the circle. About half the pen would be inside the line and half outside. This is what SwiftUI is doing for us. But where our shapes go to the edge of the screen, it means the outside part of the border ends up beyond our screen edges. Now try using this instead. Dot stroke border, color dot blue, line width 40. That changes stroke to stroke border, and now we get a better result. All our borders visible because Swift strokes the inside of the circle rather than centering on the line. Previously, we built an arc shape like this one. Just like circle, that automatically takes up all available space. However, this kind of code won't work. Arc start angle dot degrees minus 90, end angle dot degrees 90, clockwise true. If you open Xcode's error message, you'll see it says value of type arc has no member stroke border. That is, the stroke border modifier just doesn't exist on arc. There's a small but important difference between SwiftUI's circle and our arc. Both conform to the shape protocol, but circle also conforms to a second protocol called insettable shape. This is a shape that can be inset, i.e. reduced inwards by a certain amount to produce another shape. The inset shape it produces can be any other kind of insettable shape, but realistically, it should be the same shape, just in a smaller rectangle. To make arc conform to insettable shape, we have to add one extra method to it, inset by. This will be given the inset amount, which is half the line width of our stroke, and should return a new kind of insettable shape. In our case, that means we should create an inset arc. The problem is, we don't know the arc's actual size because path in hasn't been called yet. It turns out the solution is pretty simple. If we give our arc shape a new inset amount property that defaults to zero, we can just add to that whenever inset by is called. Adding to the inset allows us to call inset by multiple times if needed, for example, if you want to call it once by hand and then use stroke border. First, add this new property to arc. var inset amount cg float equals zero. Now give it this inset by method. func inset by amount cg float returns some insetable shape. var arc equals self arc dot inset amount plus equals amount return arc. The amount parameter being passed in should be applied to all edges, which in the case of arcs means we should use it to reduce our draw radius. So change the add arc call inside path in like this. I'll do minus inset amount right here. With that change, we can now make arc conform to insetable shape. And now stroke border works. Now as a note, insetable shape actually builds upon shape, so there's no need to add both conformances.